Welcome to TransDem, building a prototypical route and trains. In this video, I'll share with you what TransDem is, why you should or shouldn't use it, and how you can use it to build your next prototypical route and trains. Planning a prototypical route and trains? Not sure if you should build it with TransDem? If so, this video will help you decide. Follow along, as we look at some of the steps taken in building a new prototypical route with TransDem, the Santa Fe's famous Surfliner route, between Los Angeles and San Diego, California. If you're considering using TransDem for your next prototypical route, stick around. By the end of this video, you will know whether or not you should give it a shot. As the use of ortho image UTMs, using satellite imagery as shown here, hasn't been covered in other TransDem videos, this video will emphasize their use, showing how they provide an additional valuable resource to trains. Also, at the end of this video, I'll give you a preview of my progress on my next video, a step-by-step -step tutorial you can follow to create your next TransDem route. So to begin, what exactly is TransDem? TransDem is a powerful tool that includes the following elements. DEMs or digital elevation models, easily obtained from the USGSNet website. Raster maps, or cartographic map images, created by selecting the Open Street Maps option, in TransDem's Web Mapping Services feature. And, a vector route. The course of a route, created within TransDem, by tracing a line along the entire route. Overlapping satellite images, created from Bing or Google Earth data, along your entire route, making accurate placement of assets a breeze. All these features available in one program, allowing you to use real-world data to create an accurate, realistic, prototypical route and trains. Let's start by taking a look at the source of elevation data used by TransDem. TransDem produces strikingly accurate real-world elevation data, using USGS NED, one-third ARC, digital elevation models, or DEMs. Although not perfect, the elevations produced by TransDem are quite accurate, depicting hills, valleys, rivers, and even streams at their correct elevation and geographical locations with surprising accuracy. Since one or more dems cover quite a large area, they must be trimmed to reduce their size to fit the area covered by the route. Here we see an example of a dem, that has been trimmed in size to cover the entire route. Next, TransDem's web mapping services feature, makes OpenStreetMaps, a 3D cartographic map overlay of streets, buildings, and rail lines, available for use as a 3D raster map overlay. Although somewhat limited in its usefulness for placing objects, this feature gives a fairly complete overall picture of the location of the streets, buildings, and rail lines along your route. It should be noted that the street map overlay will be painted over, and will no longer be visible when ground textures are applied. Finally, let's look at one of the most useful features of TransDem for accurately placing objects on your route, overlapping satellite images. These can be located along your entire route, using either Bing or Google Earth images, as a data source. No longer will you be restricted to laboriously producing individual satellite images as base maps along your entire route, but will now have a far simpler method available in TransDem, called, Ortho Image UTMs. Not only are TransDem's Ortho UTMs easier to produce, their 1000 meter square size, is much larger than most base maps. These 2D ortho UTMs, or tiles, conveniently reside beneath your 3D cartographic map surface layer, and, unlike the surface street maps, are not painted over when texturing. Also, these tiles will always be accessible in wireframe mode, 
by simply tapping the F9 key. Another important feature of Transdem's ortho tiles are that they are geo-referenced, meaning they are positioned in their correct geographical locations along your route. Proceeding southbound along the famous Surfliner route, from LA to San Diego, our ortho tiles clearly show our progress. As we turn the corner to Capistrano Beach, we'll continue our journey, following the coast highway along the Pacific coast, all the way to our final destination, San Diego, California. Transdem even provides a separate, independent layer, to store your ortho UTMs. Also, they behave like any other train's object. They can be added, or deleted, raised, or lowered, moved, or rotated. So far, we've shown many of the pros for using trans down, but what about the cons? I think most modelers will agree. The main objection to trans down is the program's complexity. Let's be real. Transdem is not a simple, out-of-the-box solution to your prototypical route needs. The two user manuals provided, each more than 100 pages, covers every aspect of the program, but is a bit overwhelming to the new user. Hopefully, the upcoming video I promised you earlier in the video will help with that. It's a step-by-step, Transdem tutorial, which will show how you can create the main three required elements of a basic Transdem route, which are the DEM, raster map, and vector route. Also, included in the tutorial, will be a section on creating the ortho image UTM tiles shown earlier in the video. Creating these tiles, will add real earth images along the entire length of your route. Since producing a step-by-step -step Transdem tutorial will be quite labor-intensive, please let me know in the comments below if you think this video would be helpful to you. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.